Well, I wasn't planning on this, uh, having this be three parts, but, well, here, that's how it's got to be. Anyway, time to conclude my collection. Now, as far as the PS3 goes, there's only one game I've beaten so far. You know, other game, because other games I want to play a little bit of or haven't played yet. The only game I've beaten right now, out, I've beaten out, is uh, Super Street Fighter 4. It's a great game, but since it is, in a way, a remake of um, the first Street Fighter 4, you know, that came out, I can't count it, so, uh, we'll skip my PS3 collection for now. Anyway, for my Genesis collection, I don't own a lot of games anymore, and I never did get to play a lot of obscure games, so, the, and the only game I own right now, and it's also the one I'm going to be picking, is... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Hyperstone Heist. Now, you might consider this a remake of of uh, Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo, but the only thing that's sim similar about it is it uses the same art style, but it really is its own game, you know. It very much is, you know, the storyline is completely different. Levels are different. Bosses, for the most part, are different. Well, some of them anyway. But yeah, it's a good. It's a, it's a, this is a really great beat 'em up, you know. And I remember playing this hours and hours with my uh, with my dad, with my late dad, and uh, we just had a blast on it. It was one of the most fun games, or the most fun experiences, I should say. You know, we've never had. So that's, that's my pick for the Genesis. Now for the Dreamcast. I try, I've only owned three games right now. I did own more in the past, but right now I only have three. And they're all fighting games. First up is Dead or Alive 2. I've played a little bit of this game. I've, I have beaten it out. I've played a little bit of it. It's a good fighting game. Not the deepest, but it's good. Well, I, well as I can tell, anyway. And I own the... Uh, and I own uh, uh, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike on a blank, uh, on a, just a standard CD, uh, standard c compact disc, you know, a generic disc. You can see it right there? Yeah. You know, because, you know, the uh, Dreamcast games had no copy protection, so yeah. It's on a recordable disc. And it's also the import version of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. I like the game. It's, it's definitely great. It's definitely complete. It's definitely one of the more complete fighting games. But I haven't gotten too used around the uh, the uh, parry system. I don't really care for the parry system all that much, and I know a lot of people really don't care for that much either. But it's still it. But it it still works. And if you can get around it, you can do some pretty amazing things. And I know a lot of people, you know, I've seen video footage of people doing, you know, combos that are just wild, so. But it's still good, you know. Now, the one I'm picking is, I know I'm kind of failing at picking, at keeping from picking obvious games, but I've, I've never played a lot of really obscure games out there, or games that are kind of underappreciated, so bear with me. But the one I'm going to pick is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I, this is just an outstanding fighting game, you know, it's, it's maybe a little unbalanced, but, you know, the character roster is huge, you know, the ability to choose an assist type, awesome, you know, kind of reminiscent of the, um, choosing a super art in Street Fighter 3, and it allows for tons of customization, you know, a lot of, a lot of customization you can do with your, uh, your, uh, you know, with your team, so, yeah. Just a great fighting game overall, and I can't really think of any other Dreamcast game I have put more hours into than this game. Closest it comes is probably the first Marvel vs. Capcom, which I have played in the past, but that game doesn't hold a candle to this game. It's just outrageous. So yeah, that's my pick for the Dreamcast. Now. Now, next pick, my picks will be for the uh, NES and the Super Nintendo, but I don't own the systems anymore, and I don't own any games in physical format, like, any, like in cartridge format. If anything, I own them on Virtual Console. 
So, my picks for the Super Nintendo, my pick, well, my pick, sorry, my pick for the Super Nintendo will be Super Mario RPG, like, I know I'm copying Dark Chiron, but I have to say it because that game was just phenomenal, you know. One of the first RPGs I ever played, the very first one RPG I ever played was Ultimate Exodus for the NES. But that was a time when I didn't really get RPGs, I just didn't get it. You know, I didn't understand the concept behind it. And Super Mario RPG kind of helped me ease into that concept. You know, it's, it might, you could probably, many hardcore RPG fans would probably be rated for being a little too simple, you know, for being a little too easy, but it's still a great game, you know, Square, Square Soft and, uh, you know, did a great job, you know, helping with the development of the game. It was just, and much like Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for the Dreamcast, I can't think of any other Super Nintendo game I've put a lot of time into, you know, just, you know, a lot of, ga a lot of games I've played for the Super Nintendo, a few, well, not really a lot of games, so I've played a few, but Super RPG probably has to be the one i played the most for that system, so, yeah. And for the NES, I'm going to uh, choose Super Mario Bros. 3. I know another obvious choice, but... It's just too good for words. It's too good not to mention. Probably the best Mario game ever created. Though it's probably though very uh, though the Super Mario Galaxy games come very very close to the you know basically uh, they come very close to taking that title away from Super Mario Brothers 3. But it's still a great game overall and probably the best NES game ever. So yeah, that's my pick for there, for uh, the NES. So um, those are all my picks. Those are my top 10 picks. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I know it probably didn't make this very entertaining, but uh, yeah. And, um, hope, hopefully, I'll, you know, tell me what your picks are. You know what? Yeah, you know, if you if you can go by a set rules, you know, if you can go by a set rules that I place for myself. Um, let me know, and I'll see you.